Watching TLC's hit reality TV franchise 90 Day Fiancé is literally like watching a train wreck, sometimes it's just so awful that you can't look away. And with several spin-offs, there is always some sort of drama going down on Sunday and Monday nights. On the flagship 90 Day Fiancé series, which premiered in January 2014, couples are made up of one American citizen and one foreigner who have already applied for and obtained a K-1 visa, aka the Fiancé visa, which allows the foreigner to enter the United States under the condition that they will marry their significant other within 90 days. TLC cameras document the 90-day countdown to their wedding days which are almost always full of fights, stress, and tears. The first spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, features fan-favorite couples who were previously on 90 Day Fiancé and have already tied the knot. The series premiered in September 2016 and documents the couple's struggles as they adjust to their new lives together. For most of them, the honeymoon phase ends pretty quickly. With the success of Happily Ever After, TLC ordered a second spin-off in November 2016, 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. The series documents a couple, made up of an American citizen and a foreigner, who are in a long-distance relationship. Most of the couples have not met each other in person yet after dating online, and it's usually the American traveling to the foreigner's country in order for them to meet for the first time. Other couples previously met during a vacation, and most of them get engaged during their seasons so that they can begin the K-1 visa process. Couples who obtain their K-1 visas may return to the franchise on 90 Day Fiancé proper. Day Fiancé, What Now? Originally launched as a web series in March 2017, but following major success, it now premieres online first via the TL Go app before airing on TV. Couples who appear on What Now? have all appeared on other spin-offs of the franchise. For couples who have not been asked back to join any of the previous spin-offs, most likely because they are no longer together or no longer have a compelling story to tell, they may be asked to return to the franchise on the spin-off 90 Day Fiancé, Hello Talk. The show, which premiered in April 2019, allows fans watch their favorite stars as they watch the current season of the franchise and react to the storylines. Following the major success of all previous spin-offs, TLC debuted 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way in May 2019. The show flipped the 90 Day Fiancé premise, so the American is the one who is relocating to a foreign country in order to be with the one they love. On top of all of the spin-offs, two sets of fan-favorite stars were given their own spin-offs based on their own lives and their families. The family Chantel, featuring Chantel and Pedro Gemino from 90 Day Fiancé Season 4, debuted in April 2019. In August 2020, a spin-off featuring 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days stars Darcy and Stacy Silva, titled Darcy and Stacy, premiered. For more celebrity relationship news, listen to Us Weekly spill the details of Zoe Kravitz and Shannon Tatum romance rumors. The franchise also launched two limited series in 2020. 90 Day Fiancé, Self Quarantined was a self-filmed mini-series featuring fan-favorite couples who shared updates on their lives as they quarantined during the coronavirus pandemic. B90 Strikes Back, features the cast of Season 4 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days as they react to fan comments and tweets about them. Despite all of the relationship drama, the show has a pretty good track record. Most of the couples who have appeared on the show are still together, and only a handful of them are divorced or broken up.
Scroll through the gallery below to find out which 90 day fiancé couples are still together, still married, or divorced.